This is part two of modeling an army flashlight. And in the last video, part one, uh, I had modeled uh, this somewhat of a exploded view of the head. And uh, there's more to do on that, but I'd like to switch over and start looking at the handle. So um, here we can see what I want to uh, get going on. Uh, we're basically at this point, so I'm gonna be extruding down. I'll make this little piece here. We'll come down, make this piece, and then I will probably be doing this, I guess, and we'll do these pieces here. Um, and then attaching to this will be this piece. And then I guess at the end, this piece. I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to end it off if we look at this one. So once again, I'll deal with, with this the circle uh, later. So that piece and extruding down, this piece, and then this, that, and, and, this, and some of this stuff. So we'll see how, how far we get. So um, here's where we're at. And it looks to me like this line here starts a little bit higher up than uh, where I left off. So I'm just gonna look in side view and I'm gonna select this edge and I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, extruding down from there. E to extrude and let's just come down a ways. And I don't have any measurements or anything for this. Uh, probably don't need to come down that far for that part. Let's say, uh, if I come down to about there, and then I have the other pieces. Hopefully that's that's long enough. So I've got uh, an edge loop right here I can use. Um, let's bring in another edge loop down here that I could use to make the second um, ring, that one there. And eh, it's hard to, t I, can, I can lengthen this thing later, so let's just do that. And so uh, I guess what I'll do is just, let's do it simply. Oh yeah, I want to turn off the uh, the grid display as well. So over here under uh, under display, just uncheck grid floor. All right, so if I ever go like that, it doesn't get distracting. I'm gonna shift and shift alt and click that to get that whole edge. And I'm gonna control B to bevel. It's gonna make a little space like that. And I'm gonna extrude, but not in the Z or Z direction, as some people say. So it's gonna be E, scale, shift, Z, or Z, and I'm gonna come out, and we'll get that, and I'll sharpen that up with edge loops. Come down there, and we'll go up there. We'll see if we need to do more than that. Probably I will. All right, well, I can come in and just do there. I just don't want it. I don't want it too sharp. Let's try that, see if we like it. That'll be okay. Now that may need to come out a ways because I'm going to be doing uh, these lines here which seem to sort of attach to it or go under it type thing. So we're gonna come down and look at, uh, look at this thing here. So let's go back to side view. And the more I look at this, I'm starting to think it needs to be a little bit longer. All right, we could probably go with that. All right, so for this one, I'll do, I'm just gonna do a bigger, a bigger bevel like that. E, scale, shift, Z. I'm gonna come out possibly a bit more and I can do some work uh, underneath it. Uh, this is gonna have to be bigger than that though. So what we'll do is we'll um, shift alt and click that edge and this edge and pull it down more. Okay, so it's gonna be something like that. <clears throat> but I think I don't want it so tight. We'll see. And then an edge loop here. <clears throat> well, we'll start with that anyhow. And then let me just have a have a look um, in this one. It does that, and it is rather sharp and dome-like. Okay. Um, in that case, what can we do here? Uh, in that case, I'm going to scale shift Z and I'm going to pull it out a bit, and possibly I will put an edge loop there. 
Okay, I'll stop at that point and we'll, we'll work on that. Let's do those those lines. I think this will have to come out. I'm going to bring in a plane. I'll look from the top. I'm just going to bring it out to the side. And we'll go in and we'll, we'll scale it down. And I am going to use uh, like a rectangular structure. Let's hit the period key to zoom in on that and then out a bit. So, let's say it was like this. Grab the top face and uh, we'll just try extruding it up. Let's see how we're liking this. Okay, so we'll make, make it thinner. Grab that face and push it in like that. Now one thing is I, I could get rid of the back face. If I take this out, and then bring it back in, let's say it was, say it was like that, but I'll extend it down some more, and then I can bring those rings out so that it is covered. There we go. Yeah, so this will have to extend out further. No problem, we can do that. Same thing at the top. So I'll bring it so that it will be submerged. Now, I think I am just going to bevel it by uh, taking this edge and this edge. Let's see if we can get away with just, just beveling like this. Maybe even putting one segment in. Uh, I'll, I'll select one of these edges. Okay, so to make this go around the circumference of the handle, I'm going to select that edge, edge, Shift D and P to break it out into a new object. And I'm going to set the origin of geometry. And cursor is selected, it's fine. I'm going to go uh, Alt C, uh, curve. I'll make it a curve. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and let's let's array this. I can do this in the X. That'll be all right. Or well, maybe I should do it in the Y. Make it come out. We'll just bring up the count. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to I'm going to then add a, the uh, curve modifier in the Y, and I'm going to choose the uh, curve, <laughs> well, hopefully the curve, let's let's uh, give this a name, actually let's find it in here, where are you, there it is, I'm going to call it curve, okay back to this, so we'll select that, under the modifiers, bring that up, I'm going to choose curve, and I'm going to get that, right? Okay, we're going to stick with that. But I'm going to take these, and I'm going to rotate Y90. Let's try that. Let's see which way is in and which way is out. Which one are you going to show me that I like? Let's deselect. Yeah, okay, I'm going to flip them the other way. Okay. Rotate uh, Y uh, 90 minus and uh, we're going to increase the count although I need to pull them in and I think and I'll flip the polys I think it's gonna be the Z yeah we'll do that which way is gonna bring them up X so you just have to play with these axes uh, let's go into edit mode and select them well maybe I'll have to flip those afterwards yeah, I think I'll have to do that. All right, let's let's uh, let's go ahead and apply and apply, and then we'll go in, Control N, flip the polys, and we should be okay. Okay, now they don't stick out that far, and I'm wondering if I want to try to change that a bit. Okay, let's try this. Let's. Um, Um, maybe individual origins, scale shift Z, 
and we'll do it for us. Or maybe Alt S would have been better. Let's just try that. That's probably all right. Let's compare. All right, yeah, they don't they don't have to come out that far. All right, um, cool. In that case, let's see if I need to do some work on this here. Uh, not really, not on this, except maybe uh, to um, maybe take this edge loop up and another one. All right, so we have that, and how are we doing down here? I guess we're doing fine. So I can now get rid of that curve, and we're just gonna work a bit more on this thing here. All right, I'm going to take this, um, shift, alt, and click, shift, alt, and click. I'm gonna bring both of these down. And this one I wanna bring down a bit more. Got that going on. I can, of course, put an edge loop here and that'll help. It should help. There we go. All right, great. We got that, that part coming along. What to do next? That's the question. Let's have a look at that. So that's what we have so far. Oh. <coughs> All right, well, it looks like I'm going to be doing um, this black ring, <coughs> which I might be able to steal from there, but yeah, maybe a different diameter. So, and then uh, sort of an indented area with uh, thread again. And uh, I can't tell if this is the thread that goes in or out. Probably you could think about it and it would make sense, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. So what we'll do is let's come in here and see what we got. We got this. So let's just pull this down. <clears throat> Actually, let's pull it down to a reasonable distance like that. Okay. Actually, probably a little bit more because we'll do the band there. And um, well, let's bring an edge loop down here. And how about if we just do this? Put one there. Let's break it out. Okay, so there it is. Set origin of geometry on that guy. Go into edit mode and E to extrude. Let's pull it down and then select it. E and up in there. I just scale it? No, it's not ready to scale. E and, oh, because it's got solidify on it, that's why, scale shift Z. Yeah, when you copy from uh, an object that's already got modifiers on it, you get those modifiers, and I forgot that it had to uh, solidify. Scale shift Z, I don't need that. All right, let's put some edge loops on this and see what else we wanna do. Suppose right now I could put one here. It makes it a little bit harder to make it smaller, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll just make it. I'll make it smaller, but I'll move it up. So that would be under there, kind of thing. Okay, cool. So let's just scale shift Z the whole thing. Let's see what it's like. All right, so it dips in a little bit. So how does it look here? Yeah, pretty close to flush. Okay, so let's uh, scale shift Z and hold shift. That's gonna be just fine. Okay, so that would be the little black band there, although it looks a little bit short to me. Okay, that's probably okay. And let's uh, take this and put three edge loops here. We'll scale these in the Z a bit. Oh, I'm in individual origin, so if that ever happens, don't forget to go back. Let's control B, E, scale, shift, Z, pull it out. 
I'm gonna throw some edge loops in. I hope those are wide enough. Okay, so I got that. Let me just see how far down that, that thread normally is. And it goes there and then it ends. Okay, I might want to bring that up a little bit. So I'm going to go into wireframe and I'm going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to pull it up like that. That's how it's going to look so far. The band and that ending part. And that's not a bad way to, to end that piece off either. I don't need to make it smooth on inside or anything. That's just, that's just fine. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's see if we can go on here. <clears throat> so I got this and the, and the band, and then I got the thread on the inside. And then there's this piece. Is it just this with those things? Okay, so uh, there's the part <clears throat> that's going to attach to this. And then it comes down and there's a bit more thread on this one to attach to the final piece. All right, so I need, at the very least, I need this piece here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this piece here, and then it, it'll narrow down, there'll be some thread there, and it'll attach onto this final piece. So I just need, I just need that, that piece. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's gonna go on top of it. So, um, <clears throat> just wanna think about this. What I'm thinking is, uh, this may have to go in a little bit more because I think the other piece is going to fit on this and have the same diameter as this. Let me just confirm what I'm thinking of. Okay, so this, yeah, this looks a little bit more indented so that this piece, when it screws on, um, has, well, let's see, is it, uh, is it at the diameter of, of that part? Yeah, it's a little wider than this. It's at the diameter of this, which is no problem because I can grab, easily grab um, this edge. Uh, which one? Yeah, which one would I want? I think this one. I think the other one is, well, no. No, this one. <clears throat> Shift DP to make it a new object. Let's take that. And let's just move that down there. Let's take off the <laughs> solidify. But let's bring this all in a little ways, if I can. Let's see, can I? Of course I can. Let's select that edge and um, do what we did earlier, bring it all the way up. But you know what? Hide the ring. Okay, make it so much easier on myself. Good. Can I just keep going? Keep going to town. Perfect. Now let's look from the side. Uh, all right, actually, I'm going to look this way. All right, scale shift uh, Z. And bring it in a nice distance like that. I think looks kind of like this. It goes down pretty far. All right, we'll give that a try. Now I'm gonna bring back that and yeah, it's a little bit, it's a lot more deep than it is um, wide, if that makes sense. So that's fine. Let's take this just as I did before. I had to do this a couple times. Get in there somehow. Right there is where I'm going. Get in there and select that inner part. And let's just, uh, can I just alt S this thing? And just bring it in. Let's try that. The subdivision surface. And um, yeah, edge loops. In fact, maybe two. Not. Not too sharp, but sharp enough so that it does that kind of thing. Okay. And then, and I can do more on that. And then I can take uh, this piece and make that last, uh, 
the last part. So that would go on to there. And we'll see if it has to be the same, that, that band has to be the exact same diameter. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It really does look like it comes out quite a bit right to the edge. Uh, scale, shift, Z, and I'll shift. Like, let's do a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll go into edit mode, select it, E to extrude, and we'll just bring it down. And we'll flip the polys, and we'll have a look at this guy here. Once it's rounded, it'll, it'll look like it makes more sense connecting. Okay, so what's on this? Those things. And then the thread. The thread on the inside. I don't know if I'm going to do this little part and then the thread. Yeah, I probably will because I'll put it in. Yeah, it'll be, it will be there now that I think about it. Okay, well, let's do this. I just want to see how far down to do that. Down near the bottom, right? Yeah, so the majority of it is, is this part and then it goes in. Um, so I'm just thinking, I'll just, just throw an edge loop there for the moment. To do all this part and then it'll come down. Okay. So that this part would go in. And what did I do there? What did I do there that I didn't like? Selected all W, remove doubles and just in case, nothing there. thinking about something um, for the moment I'll bring that up and we'll just think about this yeah there's that part in there anyhow okay cool um, so at that okay what do I need to do I need it to come out before it goes down I just want to look at this one. Yeah, okay, so there's the diameter, then it comes out. And it also goes in. I guess. Let's, um, let's get rid of that for the time being. And take this one. Well, no, actually, uh, I could keep that one. And even bring it up to here. And then I could take this one and I could just scale it out. I think I'm going to need to do this. Whoops. Put it there and scale it out. I'm just mess it around for the moment. here. Let's scale all this stuff back. And we'll give it some thickness as well. Let's turn off the subdivision surface for the moment. And let's take all that. And give it a bit more thickness. And calm it down a little bit. Does that something like what I'm looking for? Down here. Is there another 
no, there isn't. Okay, and then it'll go go into that. Well, it's hard to tell, right? So, um, okay, so I'm just going back and forth. Just want to see what's up there and surround it. So I'm going to need, um, I'm going to um, shift alt and click there. I'll go control L modifiers. Let's get that solidify on there. Not that one. This one. And we'll bring this up. And it'll start, let's say, looking a little bit more reasonable. Okay, so this piece would go over there and have thread. So let's do the threading. I guess if this one has the, the out, out east, then this one will have the in east. Um, or do I have to wait till I apply that sub D? Or they, uh, how did I do it before? Do I have to? I want it on the inner surface, I think. What did I do up here? I, I would have applied it. Yep, I thought so, but okay, I won't, I won't do that yet. We'll do the other parts first. Okay, so what we have are these uh, projections here coming up, very similar to this, okay? And it makes me wonder, now although they're a bit, bit different and they're sort of rounded, but it makes me wonder if there's any way I could steal these. Well, that's not a one scale shift Z. I just want to see if I start pulling them out. Well, it's not. Uh, Okay, so we got those there. Yeah, well, what'll help is if you, so the origin of geometry for that thing, scale shift Z, and bring them out equally. Let's look from the side view and see what we can do. Let's box select the mine wireframe. Yeah, I think so, eh? No, it wasn't. I was not. Let's grab those ends. Let's do that for now. So my question simply is, is there any way I can use those? Set the origin of geometry and I'll just bring the cursor there. Scale shift Z and bring them in. And do I need that many? Yeah, it is quite a bit. Now, admittedly, they're not rounded. What about just beveling them? Even two. You know, could I get away with that? Do I have to round them? Just trying to make them a little bit thicker. Okay, so they're not really... Guys are on the move. I'm making them thinner. I just want to see what happens if I do that. There we go. Now they're touching down. Looks like I'm. My spacing is a tiny bit off on that, but you know, that would be a quick way of doing it. And I am of the mind to just do that. If I didn't want to do that, is there any way I could modify these quickly? Let's just take one. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's the easiest way to do that, by the way. Yeah. If I mess around with this move with that. It doesn't look bad. It'll look fine in the render anyhow. Can I get away with that? Okay. 
let's uh, supply that bevel. Let's come back to here and uh, apply the solidify and go on the inside. And let me think about this. This guy here, I'm going to put some internal, some holes and I've been doing three, so we'll go with three. We'll just scale this into Z a little bit. And control B. And I'll do this. E, scale, shift, Z. I'm coming out to make them go in, right? And we have that kind of effect. Okay, and then some edge loops. Where am I putting the edge loops? Looks like I'm putting them on here this time. That's all right. Kind of doing it blind a little bit. Just waiting for my edge loop to go to the right orientation. I'll do another one here. And I'll, uh, it's already, oops, not that. There's already an edge loop right there. Yeah, there is. I could potentially do another one here just to sharpen it up a bit. Okie doke, let's see how that looks. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What's Which one is this? That's just an internal one. I'd like to just pull it up and make it look like that. And this one, scale shift Z. I'd like to bring it in there and we'll get that a little bit sharper. So are we saying that um, this piece and this piece would come together and go on here? And I can make this a little narrower if I need to, but generally this piece would go on here, right? Let's see how it seems to fit. I might sharpen that up. Let's now it is actually wider though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah okay. It's to the uh, it's to, to the see this one is more rounded. Okay, this piece here, and that's what I was like liking before. And this one is, yeah, I might. Well, no, I got that. I got that. Let's just see if there's anything I can do with this still. Let's go one. Oh, not that. Let's bring one more down. That. And then let's take this and bring that edge loop up and bring in another one to sharpen it. And let's go with that. I'm thinking about those. I'm not crazy about them. But, uh, okay, how does this fit? Good enough, maybe, for now? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this thing's going to have thread, is it? Okay. Yeah, thread on the inside, right here, and then thread on the outside. And... Yeah, thread on the inside there, thread on the outside right down in there, and then I'm onto the last piece. Cool. Oh, and how long is it? Not very long. Okay. Good, maybe about that. Maybe I can, uh, yeah. I think maybe I need a little bit more room than that. Okay. Let's stick with three. And I'll do it at that distance apart. It's gonna be a tighter thread. It doesn't have to be yeah, come out that far either. They don't all have to be the exact same. I don't think they do. I hope not. Yeah. 
edge loop, edge loop, edge loop. You know the drill. Not that noticeable, but they're okay. I may come back to these. I may just redo them, so uh, we'll see. Uh, I may come back to this whole structure here. Uh, and I may come back to it right now. I'm getting there. I think I just prefer it like that. Just looks a bit more natural to me. All right, so then the next piece has got to have the width of that, doesn't it? It does, okay? And it's actually, it's wider than the rest of the handle as well. And I don't know if we can see that on here. We're not gonna be able to see that, but obviously it's gonna have an internal thread on it and then it's gonna to come to the end. So let's start to build a piece and I will use, I will use perhaps that edge and we can go from there. Shift D, P to make it a new object. Select it, it's an origin of geometry. It's got just a subdivision surface. So it will be about there. Let's take it, D to extrude and bring it down and just, have some fun with it. All right, so right now let's uh, shift click there and uh, add the same modifiers. Oh, didn't do anything, did it? Ah, it's because I've only got the subdivision because I, I, I applied the, uh, I applied the solidify. I'm just throwing these in just so it looks at least a small bit better as we think about this. Does it just come straight down? Or is it taper? I haven't looked at all at this. Oh, geez, and this is the piece I'm making right now. There's that, and there's this cutaway. Uh, whereas you can't really see that. Well, yes, you do see that there. Because then it cuts away. And the ring. And it is reasonably long. This piece. It's about twice the length of this, maybe not quite twice. So let's get in there and have a look at this. And if that was there, how about we look in, in wireframe? And do something like that to start off with. that connect with the thread let's have a look maybe it's is it you know like if there's internal thread on that piece maybe it's a little bit narrower on the inside in order to, to you know down here a little bit narrower at least on the inside to connect with this like thicker on the inside um, so maybe what I would do is I would make a section that's of similar, you know, length as that. And just on the inside, I would bring that in as well. It has these. And so I, I'm thinking of copying this and, uh, I'll give that a try. Uh, Shift D. Let's, uh, rotate X 90 and see if uh, it's possible 
to just uh, get this into place and use it. I'm gonna find out. Um, hmm. Let's take this and this and, and uh, Shift H just to, to view those. Look down from the top and I'll take this. Okay, well, let's try a wireframe. And let, um, could be our friend. And it looks like we're gonna have to uh, do something here. Let's try to get this right in the middle. And let's scale Shift Z. Let's try that. I can do more work on that. I can make it a little bit less wide. If that's what we want, I want it up near the top, don't I? I would want it. Oh, what's going on here? Um, what direction am I looking at? There we go. I would want it up here somewhere, in which case I'm going to want to do my special, my trick. Let's just bring those in a little bit. where I indent it a little bit. We're just thinking our way through this all. Yeah, some more of that. Looks a little bit longer too. I can't really tell that, but you know what? I think just for fun, we should scale those in the Z and make them a little bit longer anyhow. All right, if that was going to be the position, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put an edge loop here and an edge loop here and shift alt and click both of them. Control B, give it a, just a little bit of thickness, not much at all. And E, scale, shift Z and pull it in like I did before. And then bolster that with edge loops there and here. And let's hide these back in and do some here. Now this may have implications on my making it narrower on the inside. Uh, let's bring back everything. That kind of thing. It's not exactly the same as the real thing, but I, I, I like I just like the looks of that. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. So, we are gonna take that stuff and move it down. We gotta do some work on this. Mm. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and apply that solidify, and then I can get rid of that subdivision surface. And we can see, and on this side, yeah, I probably should have done it, done, done some things differently here. Let's come up one more level. E scale shift Z, bring her in. I can always fix this. And I can flatten that out. And then I would attach. Okay, so let's work on the flattening part. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do? Just rebuild it to, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the inside part and delete the faces and then I'm gonna join these edges. Control E, bridge edge loops. So that's straight. And I'm gonna, is that all I need? And I'm gonna select both those and I'm gonna X and dissolve those edges now. And come back to here. And you know what, that might be enough. If I put an edge loop what the hell did I do? If I just put an edge loop there, and why aren't my edge loops showing? Is it because it's on the inside or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, so that would be narrower, so let's take this. You know, and so if I made the grooves here, then they would fit. Okay, let's get rid of this. And let's go a little bit more narrower. Um, that's not what I want. 
Yeah, it's, um, it's a little awkward this time. Okay, scale shift Z. Just a little bit more. All right, let's say that was it there. And then I took both of those and that connected to there, okay? So on this here, not that there, but on this here, I would um, just do my, uh, what would I do, my indentations, okay? That's there, E, scale, shift, Z, let's pull out. Let's make sure it looks okay, sort of. It's easy to forget what you're looking at. Am I looking at the inside or the outside? I don't know. I may not need too many edge loops. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, so I got some grooves there. And we're not worried about anything else on the inside there anyhow. Um, unless I really wanted to flatten it out, I, I could. If I could tell what I was looking I mean, I could. Uh, just bear with me. Select that, control plus a couple times. Delete these faces. And bridge edge loops. And maybe you'd like that better. Maybe it would make more sense. Just what's on this end of this edge? Yeah, that doesn't matter. That's good enough. Yeah, okay, that looks better. And if you really wanted to, you get rid of those edges too. If I could select the right thing, I could sh I could select those X dissolve edges if you're worried about polys and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Nice. Okay. Let's see if she's if she fits together. <laughs> That would be interesting. Let's find out. Yeah, kind of, eh? All right. Let's take this and this, move her down, and this and this. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break and uh, we'll start thinking about the bottom of this. I've been thinking about this end piece, and I think I'm just going to close it up. I think, I think that's what I want to do, just clock, you know, from the angle that I'm going to be at. So let's see what I can do here. Let's get rid of this edge loop for now. And let's just see if I can close it. And if it'll close nicely. It may not play nice. Actually, I may want to move it down. All right. So let's have a look at that. And then I think I'm going to take it all. And I'll expand out to there. Let's just see if I can move this thing down. Okay, we'll have some issues with that, eh? Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll extrude it a bit more. I'll do this kind of thing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Is that enough? Do I need one more in there? Always more. More, more, more. I was thinking of just doing that and then sharpen this end up though. I'll throw another one down here. I think maybe I would just end, end that piece like that. Okay, so what do we got? We still got a few more a few more things to do here, this kind of stuff. And the bulb. And I'm not sure I would really need to do that. Um think about it but let's leave it at that for the time being that's that's quite a bit quite a bit of work for now nothing overly complicated uh, I'm just wondering uh, if there's anything am I missing 
that did I do it or is it is it attached to there am I missing a, the band I thought I had done it I was pretty sure I had or uh, where where am I looking here I'm looking in the wrong spot am I looking at this one here maybe so that this and this would come on here and this and this would go on here that kind of thing okay cool well that's a lot that's a decent amount of work so we'll leave it at that and we'll come back in the next part